we have a problem statement here so let's read it write a function to compute the greatest common divisor given by euclid's algorithm exemplified for j is equal to 1980 k is equal to 1617 as follows so they have even given us the calculation part of it okay thus the greatest common divisor is 33 hmm they have given the result also so here we have 33 so this part will be taken as result i guess i guess okay so let us take this calculation part this is very important when that whenever they have given the entire calculation itself it's very easy to formulate the formula and write the c program so let me grab this snippet from the problem statement and analyze it first before writing the c program so let's get started the analysis part so let me take this first section this is numerator this is denominator so as we know it in mathematics so i'll call the result as maybe num so numerator divided by denominator is equal to num is our first equation so let me grab the second section here and the first uh, first column so 1980 is numerator so i'll take numerator here so minus 1 what is 1 here i guess it's number okay so numerator minus number multiplied by 1617 what is 1617 it's denominator here so multiplied by denominator so is equal to a result i'll call it by a name called temp so we got two formulas here okay so write these things down don't forget it we, these are the things upon which we will be writing our c program logic so write this down so we got two formulas let me bring it up so let's continue let's go to the second column so this is denominator right so denominator has been shifted to numerator's place so numerator is equal to denominator so come to the denominator part that is 363 which is present inside temp so transfer temp value to denominator okay that's it i guess so for now we need to repeat this logic for the next column and repeat the same logic for the next column until we need to do this until temp is equal to zero okay once temp becomes zero whatever is present inside denominator will be the gcd of j and k or the or else the value present at numerator and denominator so with that knowledge write those formulas down with that knowledge let me write the c program according to our problem statement i'll take two variables j and k and another variable gcd to store the result all integer type variables i'll ask the user to enter two integer numbers and obviously store it inside the address of integer variables j and k now let me call a function calc underscore gcd for calculate gcd i guess we need to write that so user has entered values for j and k and we need to calculate gcd so let me copy these three variables and pass to calc underscore gcd i'll part the value i'll send the values of g j and k and address of variable gcd since we will be modifying the value present at the address gcd ampersand gcd the value will be reflected all across the program so we can uh, display the result inside main method itself even though we are calculating gcd inside calc underscore gcd function so common that is greatest common divisor of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d value present inside j k and gcd that's it for main method we are good to go and we can go ahead and define our calc underscore gcd function so our function doesn't return anything so its return type should be void I'll take a couple of integer variables to copy the value of j, k and j, c, d. So I'll take numerator and denominator here. That makes a lot of sense for me instead of j and k. Okay. So it's of type integer denominator. So int denominator. Since we are passing address of g, c, d, I'll take pointer variable here. I'll just leave it the variable name. I'll just leave it as g, c, d. I could even check, take hcf here, highest common divisors. So highest common factor but let let it be gcd itself so i'll take i'll check if denominator is zero sometimes users enter like that so i'll assign the value of numerator to the value present at address gcd okay else 
let's follow according to our logic so take the first column numerator div divided by denominator is equal to 1 so according to our previous uh, explanation we need to write numerator divided by denominator is equal to num I'll store the result inside a variable called num so numerator divided by denominator I'll store that result inside a variable called num okay so in this case one will be stored in num so the second part of it so 1980 is numerator so let me even type it before going further so numerator minus 1 which is present inside num so here the result of the first equation into multiplied by 1617 the value of k which is present inside denominator okay I'll store this inside a variable called temp okay that's it next come to the next column here so 1617 is denominator which is copied to numerator's place so I'll copy the value of denominator to numerator so numerator is equal to denominator that means we are copying the value present at denominator to numerator so numerator is equal to denominator so 363 is present inside temp so temp will the value of temp will be stored inside variable denominator that's it so let we need to loop come we need to uh, iterate through this logic until temp is equal to 0 look at this number temp is equal to 0 so I'll take while loop while temp not equal to 0 iterate through this while loop okay so I'll cut these two lines of code I'll tell you why I don't take these two things I'll just take these two line of code and paste it inside while loop okay so why I didn't take these two things because we need to calculate the value of temp before writing the while loop because while loop condition is until uh, iterate through this while loop until temp is not equal to zero okay so we need to have some value inside temp so we are writing the two equations before writing the while loop okay temp is here so I could I could simply write temp here that only means iterate through this while loop until temp is equal to any positive value once temp is zero the control exits this while loop so once temp is zero whatever is present inside the the variable denominator that's the GCD of J and K so let me copy this value once temp is zero this while loop exits so outside this while loop I'll copy the value present inside denominator to star GCD that's it that would give give us the results so I'll write 1980 as J 1980 as J and 1617 as K so greatest common divisor of these two number is 33 according to our problem statement 33 is the right result so let me swap those values I'll first enter 1617 and then 1980 still the greatest common divisor is 33 so I'll give 15 and 20 it should be 5 and it's working so let me give 20 and 15 still it should give us GCD as 5 okay so how is it even working some people say that first we need to store the greater number min and max we need to calculate min and max and store um, max inside numerator and min inside denominator and all but but that's not required if denominator is greater than numerator then num will be zero right so in second equation this entire thing will become zero so then numerator value will be copied to temp, temp variable and inside while loop temp value value will be copied to denominator and denominator value will be copied to numerator again the greatest 
the greater number will be stored inside stored inside numerator and the smaller number will be stored inside denominator so that happens automatically with this code okay you need not check the greatest number and swap it so we are good to go with this logic let me write the prototype and copy this function definition and maybe paste it after this main method okay that's it so check once again 1980 and 1617 the greatest common divisor is 33 great so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using whatsapp telegram wechat or maybe twitter linkedin facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you